G'day John, how you going? Good bar. <laughs> Tell me your name and where you're from. My name is John, I live in Cowra and I'm currently at my mother's place. And John, you were diagnosed about seven years ago with a tumour and you had it removed and then it came back. So tell us what happened. It came back after four years and it wasn't large. In six months it grew one mil. And was that this, this last six months? Mm, yeah, it's been over a year now. Right. Because I kept putting the operation off because I had things I needed to do. Mm. So over the last year, six months, it's been growing, the tumour? It has been growing. And, and what did the doctors want to do about it? They wanted to operate, but they were concerned that it had wrecked me left leg. My right leg's no good, but they were concerned that it would damage the nerves in my left one and leave me disabled. And so, John, you booked yourself in for surgery? Uh, I was booked in for surgery. Now, actually, I went and seen the surgeon. I put it off because I had things I had to do. And, and I meant, I believe I meant to put it off because it helped me to focus on and trust God all the way through it, believing. And, um, and I needed that time period for my faith to overcome. What were you opposite. overcoming in yourself? Um, How did you feel? To be quite honest, the tumour was an inconvenience to me at this point in time. And, and I believe that God wanted me to focus more on Him and believe Him regardless of what was happening mm. in my life. Tremendous. So you were believing God, you requested prayer from your friends, yeah. right? Uh, you came here this this last week, Tuesday, mm. and uh, we all prayed for you as well. Yeah. Okay. Wednesday morning, you went in for surgery. What happened? I went in for surgery, and I was going to do an MRI. And so I actually really believed in my heart that I wasn't going to have the surgery. They did the MRI. They took me up to the surgery. They um, hooked me all up, put me under, tubes, the whole deal. They wake me up two hours later. Let, let's see your arm, John. Can you, can you see that on the, the yeah, video? Yeah, it's bruised, yeah. Can you see that bruise mm -hmm. there? And they put this needle in. Yeah, and where did yeah. It went up my arm, into my heart. To your heart's over here, bro. Yeah, well, <laughs> well, they don't go right into your heart. Uh -huh. the closest to the heart, the, so that the heart can pump this stuff into the brain to um, stabilise the brain for surgery so it doesn't swell when they take your skull out. And um, they wake me up too late. Now, hang on, you, you, they put you under sedation? Yeah. Wow, so you're completely asleep? Yeah, I don't remember nothing wow. once I went to sleep. And, and they, they, what did they do to your head? You know, you woke up with black marks on your head? And... Well, they put black marks on my head before surgery. They call it a GPS signal to indicate the um, position of the tumour. Um, woke me up two hours later, told me that the tumour had actually shrunk. They weren't going to operate because it wasn't worth it, because it could affect my other leg. But still, now I still believe that the tumour will be gone after my next MRI. Hallelujah. And John, who healed you? My Lord God. <laughs> What's his name? Jesus. Jesus. Amen. Well,